Hey, this is Notorious Ryan Cruz, and you're tuned into State of Pro Wrestling. Wrestling! Yay! All right, we are here at the depot. Wrestlepalooza is about to kick off in less than an hour. Are you guys pro wrestling fans by chance? I'm a pro wrestling fan, oh, brother, yeah! Oh, you. There might be a few at this table. And uh, why are you guys here? Well, why are you here? I'm here, um, I'm losing my virginity tonight to indie wrestling, so I'm here for the experience and the wild ride. Who, what do you think about Cody Wright? Oh, he is so sexy. He's a husky heartthrob. That's why that's his name. He, he definitely he definitely lives up to the nickname. Yeah. He lives like up to the nickname for sure. Shorts. Now, if he was dancing on this table, how much would you get? At least $64. $64, Cody. Did you hear that? Get out here. There might be a shoot career for you as well. Uh, well, thank you guys. How did you guys uh, get into indie wrestling around here in Minnesota? Um, I used to play roller derby, and John Manning is the announcer for the Minnesota Roller Girls, and he's also the announcer tonight. So that's how I started getting into it. So. Very cool. Are you a pro wrestling fan otherwise? No, not at all. Beautiful, beautiful. That is why indie wrestling and events like here, Wrestlepalooza tonight, are so special because we get to reach people. That's what we're trying to do with State of Pro Wrestling is share the beautiful magic that is it's an art form it's absolutely it's oh, like man. it's like, it's like poetry it's better it's like magic but beautiful yeah. it's, i couldn't magnets how do they work oh oh no no don't have an axe man no it's okay everybody is entitled to their own opinions about everything so into a shoot man <laughs> I'll see you tonight in the ring. Whoop, whoop. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Any last words? Ram it down. Ram it you down. Can't, you can't beat whoop, whoop. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Let's see if we can find. Is there any more pro? Are you a pro wrestling fan? Yes, I am. Oh, look at that beautiful, sexy shirt. Oh, yeah. Rest Palooza, baby. Shit, where do you get sexy merch like that? We're at First Avenue. Nice, nice. Uh, we are right next to First Avenue here. We are at the depot. Who are you here to see tonight? Who do you want to see the most? What are you looking most for? Eric Corman, Ryan Cruz, Eric Cannon, the Anarchist. Nice. Oh, yeah. Airwolf. Airwolf. Thunder Frog, Wildcat. Space Monkey. Space Monkey. We got, we got Wildcats here right here. Beautiful, beautiful. And how did you get into becoming like an indie wrestling fan around here? Between Nelson, he's been with, he, he's been best friend right here, Nelson. He he been to every one of Wrestlepalooza since it started. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go talk to him. Let's go talk to him. What was your favorite match from that first Wrestlepalooza? What hooked you, man? What hooked me? Former. Uh, independent wrestler playboy pete huge right. he got me into it i started watching him when he tag team with chris jordan all right, all right. watching them two wrestle. junk squad it. yep the junk squad <laughs> hell yeah, junk squad watching them two tag team together then individually that's what that's what got me into it i've been watching it ever since all right beautiful beautiful any uh favorite uh wrestlepalooza moments of yours since because i only been here for like half of them one of the best moments, I was just telling them, it was a tag team match. It was Zero Gravity against, I can't think of the tag team, but it was Nate Bash and Benjamin Saylor. Right, right. They were in a tag team match. Nate Bash went off the balcony, from the balcony, off the railing, and onto a table. Do you remember which Wrestlepalooza that was from? I want to say three or four. I'm not exactly positive though on, on which one it was. Well, we're gonna we're gonna put our research guy on that and find out which one that is because we want to do some plugs for the shows, help them sell some DVDs because they've done first wrestling has done so much. Eric Cannon always puts on a good show night. Looking forward to it. All right, all right. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, wrestling fans. We're here at the depot. 
Woo! Wrestlepalooza is about to kick off. John Ferguson, State of Pro Wrestling. And Duran Duran. <laughs> yeah, and the Flaming O's. That's good. All right. Oh, we're cool. We're here yeah, in front of First Avenue. Yeah. With uh, Steve? No, John. 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 John Madden. You know, y'all knew. John, you used to announce John, football. Don Maddening. We we're, you know, we were related. Uh, they changed the name at Ellis Island. You know. I'm sorry. We, I only no, made it. Right. I only it made it to grade ten. That's okay. Oh, you're Canadian. <laughs> That's how they talk in in, in, in Canada. Grade ten instead of tenth grade. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. I just stole that from the Trailer Park Boys, though. <laughs> I'm not really from Canada either. That's all right. My no, entire, nobody's perfect. My entire education was just watching Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> you should watch Letterkenny if you like Canadian sitcoms. All right, it's all the right. greatest thing ever. Nice, yeah. nice. All right. Now, how did you get involved with uh, First Wrestling? Uh, well, I've known uh, Cannon and uh, a lot of folks for man, uh, almost, almost, almost 20 years now. Um, wow. I was. I would go up to shows at, uh, there was a pro wrestling school called MPW, Midwest Pro Wrestling, okay. that uh, had shows way up in the hinterlands, like uh, Maple Grove, Hassan Township area, almost near Rogers, All right. in uh, the far northwest uh, corner of uh, the Twin Cities uh, major, main metropolitan area. And uh, every Sunday night, they'd have a two, they'd have a two dollar show. Oh, and nice. uh, so we had a bunch of friends that uh, drove up nearly every Sunday night. and. Uh, and watched their shows. I got to know some of these guys, and eventually I got involved uh, in announcing for uh, women's flat track roller derby. Right. And I was nice. still coming to Cannon shows. And when he decided to, to uh, kind of uh, change it all up and do this Wrestle Palooza thing, uh, he asked me to be a part of it. So it's 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 great. It's super fun. It's uh, a lot of folks that I've known for a long time, and right. a lot of folks that I get to, just get to meet uh, as they as they come for the first time. Nice, nice. Yeah, you're great. You're one of those non wrestling personalities, definitely. Not very likable, but yeah, you, well, you know, my mom likes me as far, you know, as far as she knows. Right, right. Yeah. You do, you have some cool, some cool blue hair. Yeah, that's true. It's hidden right now because it's so cold. But yeah, yeah, it's that's the natural color. It'll fill in. I don't know. Yeah. What are some of your favorite uh, Wrestlepalooza moments? Uh, well, certainly not uh, any time, any of the times that uh, Playboy P Huge attacked me. Uh, he's a, he's a, a real, a real scoundrel, a vagabond. Yeah, this uh, is a bad he, uh, he he nearly murdered me in the ring numerous times, but uh, luckily uh, luckily one time my wife uh, came in came into All the right. ring to, to save me, uh, so I'm forever grateful and I can't divorce her now I guess, so yeah. Uh, but uh, actually I think one of my favorite Wrestle Blues memories is the is the first match the first uh, show uh, where we had kind of a, uh, a double ladders we had uh, three oh. two people on top of on top of one <laughs> on top of one and they were almost chicken fighting. And uh, it, it was it was it was pretty fantastic because everybody backstage uh, was seeing this and and saying, "All right, so we have to we have to follow this." <laughs> so, All right. All uh, right. Yeah, and Wrestle Blues is just it's just fun because uh, we're not tied to any uh, any sort of uh, specific uh, promotion other than just Wrestle Blues itself, uh, first first wrestling itself, and uh, we're able to have a small storyline but still ha bring in a lot of neat people that uh, folks around here aren't used to seeing. So. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it's always a good time. Oh God, it's cold. Definitely the top promotion <laughs> in Minnesota. Yeah, let's hey, sweet. let's wrap this up. Uh, thank you, hey, yeah. thank you, Steve, for your John. Who the f John? Who is this Steve? John, I don't know. There's some guy I used to date He's in college named Steve. Steve Man. That's all right. That's okay. He used to announce he had beautiful blue. He has hair good too. shoes though now. All right, all right. All right. Thank you, Merry thank Christmas. you. Yeah, you have a great night, man. This is John Fredrickson, uh, State of Pro Wrestling, and we are here at the depot next door to First Avenue. We are here tonight, Wrestlepalooza. Why are you here? I'm a fan. He's a fan, and uh, who are you here to see tonight? Everybody. Love them all. They're great. All right, all right. And uh, when you first got into, uh, how did you become a fan of this uh, independent wrestling, this weird indie pro wrestling thing? I heard a thing on uh, one of the radio stations in town. They were promoting Wrestlepalooza 5 fairly heavily. And uh, I texted a friend and said, hey, you know what, let's go to do this. We went to the show, did not stop smiling for four hours. It was fantastic. That first Wrestlepalooza 5 that I went to was great. Uh, I have not missed one since. I love the fact that they're every six months. I love the fact that there's always something new and different and something I haven't seen before at every one of these shows. They are fantastic. And maybe a favorite memory from uh, Wrestlepalooza 5? Oh. The ladder match. The ladder match was positively absurd. There was a power bomb from the second turnbuckle onto thumbtacks, uh, and of course the match itself was a ladder match. Oh, it was great. Ari Davari and Eric Cannon tore the house down. It was absurd and fantastic, and everything I want in pro wrestling. All right, beautiful. Was that 
Was that the one that decided the first ever WrestleBlues a champion? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Beautiful. I believe that is available. We'll put the uh, link below or whatever later at some other time. Or pay some uh, Space Monkey to do it, maybe. But uh, thank you for your time. Uh, thank, thank you, John. Who is this? Who is this on your shirt? <laughs> I've had this shirt since the early 90s. Come on. Beautiful, beautiful. You Gold, got it. Gold, Goldberg. You got to represent Chris, WCW. Chris Benoit. It's fantastic. Beautiful, no, beautiful. No, I no, see nobody. Jericho. That's right. DDP, Raven. Stevie, and Stevie Ray. Oh, Stevie you can, Ray. You can, you can tell the difference. Come on. You can tell the difference. I love it. Okay, all right. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for your time. <laughs> we'll see you in there going crazy. Thanks, man. All right. See cool. Thanks, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Anderson. You are tuned in to the state of pro wrestling. Wrestling! Yay! All right, this is John Fredrickson with State of Pro Wrestling. We are here, the aftermath of Wrestlepalooza. John, what up, baby? What'd you think of that show? Oh my gosh, my mind was blown. All right, all right, and, and you said you're not much of a pro wrestling fan before this? Uh, no, this was my B card was lost tonight. He's a skateboarder. He is a professional skateboarder. No, but tonight, yeah. like, the V card was lost to uh, uh, amateur wrestling. Is that what it is? Pro. Professional. This is pro tonight? Amateur is that, like, spandex. Well, the other kind Wait, of spandex. You're this is pro tonight? Yeah, these guys are professional. They got paid. They got paid. Wow. Wow. I, I, was, I was really. I hope that guy didn't get paid. I, my mind was blown. John, we need you, buddy. That's the interview right there. We, we talked to him earlier. I don't know. I don't know if I've got anything left to it, say dude. to that man. He's dude. You got it. That's the guy you want to get right there, dude. That's the interview. So what stuck out to you, man? What stuck out to you about pro wrestling? Um, well, really, the the community of everything stuck out to me. Like everybody was like chanting and hooting or booing and behind everything. It was my first time there, so it was like, I was just getting a feel for it all, but like, the community behind everything was was fabulous, man. Yeah, yeah, we always try to be nice. You know, if there's somebody behind me that can't see, try to duck down or, or switch spots with them. There's kind of that, that community, like everybody that. looking out for each other and like. Yeah, man. Hey, well, you ladies enjoy pro wrestling at all? Yeah, Candace is my favorite. Yep. Candace killed it. I work tonight. I love serving drinks at the show. Everybody's very cool. The sponsors are great. Absolutely, absolutely. Candace is awesome. Like, see a lot of the stuff. Are you a fan of hers or tonight? I'm excited. I haven't seen her before, so I'm glad she was out here. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, she's definitely a great, great pro wrestler. Uh, what did you like about tonight? Um, I really loved the flip. Oh. Gotta hold the mic like a foot away though. Yeah. Otherwise it gets too loud like this. I have to and it starts turning red like that. It lets you know it's too loud. I oh it's too close. Yeah, there you go. Right oh, there. it's too close. Right okay. There. It's turning red. Perfect. Edit this part in. I am a professional stage combat choreographer and I learned a lot and I was inspired by the backflips and the storytelling. And I met the monkey man. And he told me that if I need to do a backflip, I need to study backflipping on swimming pools. So I had a really good time. That was my in in space monkey. Yeah, thank you. Minnesota Roller Girls, baby. Minnesota Roller yeah. Girls. We play roller derby, and it's just as hard hitting as the wrestling. But we're not predetermined. We make it up on the spot. And we can skate and hit each other for real. Oh, for real. For real. Awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate your comments. Uh, that's what I love about pro wrestling, just seeing people. Everybody's story is different or their connection. It's such a weird thing, like, and everybody connects to it in their own unique way. So thank you. Thanks again for this post-interview. Yeah, John.
This is the, the brains behind the post show, right here. Right here, baby. Yeah. My executive producer for this evening. All right, thank you, man. This is John Fredersen, State of Pro Wrestling. We got to go. All right, roller, roller derby girls. Woody Woo. This is King Mo. This is the Ariel Set. I am the unprofessional professional wrestler. This is Joey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. This is the one, the only. Hey, this is Notorious Ryan Cruz, and you're tuned into State of Pro Wrestling. He told me to pick out the best wrestlers from all over the United States. <laughs> Sling! Yay!